All right, good morning folks. It's the beginning of build day two. Yesterday I finished the two bottom panels and I left it stretching on the workbench. I, I strapped it with one of those ratchet straps just to pull it and kind of help it curve a little bit. This morning I came down, took off the straps, I made this little brace. I'm not sure the name of it. Um, so yeah, I think I have the shape basically that I want out of these two bottom panels. So. I'm gonna set this aside for the while. Well, when I set aside, I mean, I'll leave it here because I still had to work on it. But, you know, my thoughts going across to the other side of the workbench, and I'm gonna start to work on the other two panels, the two upper panels. So, I will show you all how we, how we determine the curve in front here to get a nice, smooth, straight curve, and how to determine the final height that you want, and all of that. So, let's get to it. Let me set up my things, and I'll check back in a few. Okay guys, on to the two side panels. Now, this is the piece of wood that was remained after cutting two bottom panels. It was 22 inches wide. So what I did, I measured 11 inches, which is halfway, and I went two inches that way on that side, and two inches that way on this side. Leaving me with two panels, eight feet long, that taper from 13 inches to nine inches. Nine inches on that side, 13 on this side. Now, the bigger side is going to be the back, of the back of the boat and the slimmer side to the front. The reason we're putting the slimmer side in front is because of the bottom of the boat rising up to meet it. So you don't want it to end up too tall that when you're sitting on the boat you can't see over the bow. Nobody wants that. So, plus it had to look good. So with these two panels now as my starting point, I'm going to line it up on top of the two underneath panels and I'm going to basically look at it and determine what curve I want on this to match the, the rise of these two panels. So let me set that up and I'll give you all a look. Okay, the side panel, I have it. I just clamped at the back there so it stands vertically on its own. I'm just resting on the bow here. Just lining up how this corner is going to match up. So I'm going to stand back and basically just look at it and see how I want the groove to look. It's a technical process, looking at it. I don't know if you could see, but I have a line sketched here. But this looking too tall. Yeah, nine inches at the front would be too tall because these two panels come up from the workbench, eight inches. So if our height at the back is 13, we want our height at the front to be maybe 15, 16 inches. So just slightly taller than the back. So let's see how much we need to cut off of this panel to get that. Two inches. So from nine, we're going to go down to seven inches here. So it's going to taper from 13 inches to seven inches on this side. And then we're going to put it back there. And with that height now, draw a curve to the front. Okay, I have the panel cut down so it's from 13 inches in the back down to 6.5 inches in front. I propped it back up on the corner here and I'm going to just stand back and look at it and try to keep with this same curve underneath coming straight up so I get one nice uniform curve. I'm going to draw it in. Okay, so this is the cut I just made and I'm just looking at the side profile of it all to see if I like it and I think I do, it looks nice. Alright, I think I'm happy with all this curve looking in front here. The next step now is to drill, take the drill, same drill with a small drill bit and drill holes along these two edges Going down there and go back with your wire, pass it through and tie it. And as you tie it, you're pulling in the gap and you will see the, the board will take the shape, this outer shape here. 
So hopefully in a couple hours, because this process takes a little while, it's a little tedious. But you know what? It's about to build in. You have nothing to rush. Take your time. It's better to do it properly the first time than to have to go back and do it again. So let me get started on this and I'll check back in a little later on this evening and give you all a look at the two side panels on. I'll let it good for the hour. Okay guys, I have the sides wired up here. And I must say the little boat is starting to look really nice. I'm liking the size and the weight of it so far. So, now what I'm gonna do... <clears throat> stay. Right. I'm gonna turn it over, take my flathead screwdriver and my pliers, and go around and line up these panels as exact as I could. Once I have that done, I'll tighten up all the wires and thing and finalize my shape. And the next step will be working on the back of the boat and after that fiberglass in. So that'll be the next video, most likely. This this is this is shaping up really nice. Our little boat looking it looks nice, I must say. So I'm gonna spend a little more time on this and we'll call that end of day two for now. When I check back in for the next video. We should be fiberglass in. So I'll keep good. Hopefully I inspired a couple of y'all to try, maybe try build all your own boats. Let me see.